the dedication to the officers that were slain. So here I am at the uh, Fours of Coffee Company, about to uh, four police officers that were slain here, and uh, this is Curious Kemp, talk to you in a bit. This is where we were on the side of the day in question, where three men and one woman sacrificed themselves to law enforcement. But you can see it's a, a very nice um, upper scale coffee outlet. Seem to provide a, a nice uh, environment for coffee. Uh, over here on the wall, we have a display that shows the officers that were slain here. It's the dedication to the officers that were slain. It's a really nice poster board on the wall. Forza remains a business that remains busy. The Forza Coffee Company also has a drive-up window that services customers as well. Other discoveries here at Forza seems to be the um, the kind atmosphere of the employees and how they work together. It's kind of a family atmosphere. Uh, happy and uplifted. Um, I think it's the strength of their faith and um, how they work together as employees that really has helped them get past this event. Okay, so just as however you feel comfortable. Um, so Becca, what I'd like to know is um, how have you coped with this experience um, since it's happened and, and the time from then until now? What, uh, what has helped you and the other employees get through a tragic experience like this? Um, something that's really helped me personally and the majority of our staff is just thinking into the crisis and the hope that that brings us and the comfort that that brings us. And I serve a God of Covering for another officer that day, 
she's been here every once in a while, but it's not like things around. Right. So to, to give a frame of reference here, right over here in this space in the in the coffee shop space, although things have been changed, furniture and whatnot, yeah. they, they kind of expired right here uh, in, in the tragedy. His last efforts saved other people. He's a hero. Yeah, awesome. Um, well, um, I really appreciate it. Um, have a great day. So on that tragic day, when four officers gave the final sacrifice they could for law enforcement, 39-year-old Mark Renninger, who was a 13-year law enforcement officer, had a wife and three children. 37-year-old Ronald Owens, a 12-year veteran of the law enforcement, had a wife and a daughter. 40-year-old Tina Griswold, a 14-year veteran, had a husband and two children. And finally, 42-year-old Greg Richards was an eight-year veteran with a wife and three children. November 29, 2009, they gave their all for law enforcement. Um, the suspect in the case, Maurice Clemens, was uh, fatally wounded uh, during the apprehension phase of this tragic event and uh, was unavailable for questions in this case. I'm going to continue to investigate this. It's a tragic event. Um, there's lots of, uh, lots of things involved in this and it's very sad all the way around. I hope that uh, people continue to deal with all the feelings and whatnot that go along with this to get over this tragic event, to get through and on with things. Um, this is Curious Kim, and uh, have a great day. <laughs>